What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> wow. Um, <clears throat> and today I am going to talk about the big breaking news. You have New Orleans Pelicans, all world, all universe, all galaxy, all everything fall with Anthony Davis through his agent, Rich Paul, who ironically is LeBron's agent slash homeboy told the New Orleans Pelicans that Anthony Davis will not sign an extension in the summertime, and he has requested a trade away from the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, for starters, I don't blame him. Honestly, I don't blame Anthony Davis for wanting out of New Orleans, man. For the simple fact that, you know, after, uh, last season, in the first round, they, they just... They came into the playoffs as the sixth seed. They blew through, you know, they blew through the, the Portland Trailblazers. Swept them, like dominated that series where he was just absolutely sensational. Second round, they took on the Golden State Warriors. Um, Game one, they got blown out. Game two, they lost, but it was a very competitive game. Game three, they blew out the Warriors, you know. Um... Game four, they lost, but it was a very competitive game, and they lost game five, a very competitive game. They lost to the to the Warriors, you know, uh, four games to one, but it's a it was a very competitive five game series. Where after that, I felt like Anthony Davis was pretty excited about the direction of this team. You know, it was a big step. This was the furthest he's ever been in his career. But then the off season happens, and they lose Rajon Rondo to the Lakers. Then they lose Boogie Cousins to the Warriors. And they didn't really replace those guys. <laughs> like, they didn't really replace them. So basically, they are coming back with a much lesser team. Whereas if you keep Rajon Rondo, if you find a way to re-sign Boogie Cousins, now you got the same team that dominated, that, that did not gonna sit down, that did really good in the playoffs last season. Plus, you throw in Boogie Cousins, and you maybe find like a, a shooter for like a cheaper price. You got a competitive team that's ready to roll. You could be this year's version of last year's Houston Rockets, where you could make it to the conference, you know, to the conference finals, and really give and really push the Warriors. Because with a Davis Boogie Cousins down low presence as long with a Drew Holiday on the perimeter and one more shooter to stretch the flow, you got a shot. <laughs> you got a shot, yo. But now, that's it. I mean, this team started off with 4-0 and this season. Now they like 12th or 13th in the West, man. He is an all-world, all-NBA talent. You know, and not, not only that, you know, New Orleans, like, you know, it's a small market, you know. It's a small walking, and it's not a winning team. So you can't blame Anthony Davis for wanting to go, man. Um, and I feel like the Pelicans, I honestly feel like the Pelicans organization should blame themselves because you didn't do enough to, to get this superstar player the, the enough, enough help that he needed to be competitive, to really have a chance to win championships, like or even get to a Western Conference Finals. You didn't do a good job of that. So when you have such a high-profile player, eventually you get tired and fed up, and it's like, nah, bro, like, I'm going to go somewhere. Even if I'm, like, the sec viewed as the second option, I'm going to go somewhere where I can have a chance to play in the NBA Finals and win a championship. Now, for the, for the, now everybody is pointing where obviously think the Lakers are going to get them. And if I was the Lakers, you know, you got to give them Lonzo Ball, you got to give him Brandon Ingram, and you got to give him Kyle Kuzma. And you got to give him that young center. Uh, dang, I forgot his name. Is it Zubak? You got to give him Zubak also for Anthony Davis. Man, they have an advantage because they can actually offer the Pelicans right now. <laughs> like, they got the, the, the lead start to be able to offer the Pelicans something right now. But I'm going to say this if I'm the Pelicans, yo. Because obviously you're not going to get you're not going to get another Anthony Davis type player in this deal. I know the Boston Celtics have to wait until July 1st, I think, to be able to make them an offer. They, uh, for some reason, they got to wait. If I'm the Pelicans, 
I'm waiting on the I'm waiting on the Celtics. I want to see what the Celtics are willing to give me. The Celtics got better assets to give the Pelicans for Anthony Davis. Not to mention you also going to send him way to the Eastern Conference. You know, you're not going to send him to the West where they're going to obviously keep beating you every year. Send him to the East. Besides, if I'm if I'm the Pelicans, I am asking the Celtics for Jalen Brown, for Jason Tatum. For like Terry Rose, uh, for Terry Rozier, uh, and you know what? Yeah, I think I'll take those three players, and throw in and and throw in like a lot of. I think the Celtics got like some lottery picks from other teams coming up, and throw me in one of them lottery picks too. That's probably still not enough, but I'll roll. That's the best I feel like they could get, cause. Jason Tatum, I think, is an up-and-coming star. Jalen Brown is pretty doggone good. And Terry Rozier is a solid point guard. You know, he's solid. And if you also could throw in a, a lottery pick where you got, you may get like a top five, top ten pick to go along with those players. Plus, plus you're not going to make the playoffs this, uh, this year, so you're going to have your first-round pick. You're going to have these three young players coming in, these three young, talented players coming in, and you're going you're gonna to lot, have two lottery picks and three young, talented players coming in, and you send them to the Eastern Conference instead of the West. If I was the Pelicans, I'm waiting on, on the Boston Celtics. Now, are the Boston Celtics willing to part with all three of those players? That's yet to be determined. Me, personally, if I was the Celtics, I would do it because you're still going to have Kyrie, you still gonna have Garden Haywood. You still gonna have Al Harford. You still gonna have like Marcus Smart. You gonna have a, a you could have a start lineup of Kyrie Irving, Garden Haywood, you know, um, Marcus like a Marcus Smart, Al Harford, and Anthony Davis. <laughs> like that is a team that's ready to compete for a championship next season. That's a team that next season can compete definitely for a championship. Especially when you look at the Warriors, because you don't know what's going to happen with Klay Thompson. You don't know what's going to happen with Boogie Cousins. So, if I was New Orleans, man, like, I'll just ride. Like, I'm not going to just throw him to the Lakers just for the sake of getting them off your books. Because it's not, it's not enough. I don't think those players, you know, they solid players. You know, Kuzma, Ingram, and um, Lonzo Ball, they, and, and Dubak, they solid but they're not no Jalen Brown or no Jason Tatum, you know. I don't even think they know Terry Rozier. I mean, Kuzma is a good player. Kuzma is pretty good. But I'm not a big Lonzo Ball believer, and I'm not a huge Brandon Ingram believer. I believe in Jason Tatum. I believe in Jalen Brown. I believe in, in a little bit in Terry Rozier, you know. And I believe in this lottery pick, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh... That's what you got to do if you New Orleans, man. Like, that's what I think they should do. Because make sure you get some young, talent, play, all-star type players for Anthony Davis, man. It's still not going to amount to the talent he is, but make sure you get some young, talented players for him, yo, if you the New Orleans Pelicans. But as far as for Anthony Davis, man, shout out to him. Like, me personally, he's going to either end up in a Laker uniform or in a Celtics uniform, which for him, honestly, it's about time. You know, but um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go and give me a subscribe, man. I'm gonna have NBA content throughout the season. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go, Heat.